Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 6 of chapter 2, section 1. If an arrow is shot upward on Mars with a velocity of, with a speed of 64 meters per second, its height in meters t seconds later is given by y equal to 64 t minus 1.860 square. Round your answers to two decimal places. A. Find the average speed over the given time intervals. Estimate the speed at t equal to 1. For average speed over the interval 1 through 2 is f of t2 minus f of t1 over t2 minus t1. So it is something similar to the definition of slope of the tangent line or slope of um, slope joining two points, um, slope of the line join of two points. So it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. In this case, uh, the function is a function of t. So we are going to consider y as a function of t. So it is f at time t2 minus f at time t1, initial time divided by the difference of the time, the time elapsed. That will be the average speed. So, um, the, the function is 64t minus 1.860 square. So, you need to plug in um, t equal to 2. So, that will be 2 here. So, here t gets replaced by 2 in f of t. And then you have to plug in 1, f of 1. So, you need to plug in 1 in the place of t. You can compute this one in the calculator and we find out uh, the average speed over 1 through 2 or the time interval 1 through 2 is 58.42 meters per second. You can do this um, in a quicker way in the graphing calculator. So uh, what we are doing in every time is if you notice that we are taking the function at the second value minus function at the first value of the interval divided by the second value minus the first value. Okay, this is the ratio we find out. So we can make a function. So we click y equal to in the graphing calculator and then plug in the function that we have that is 64 um, t, 64, I'm going to call it 64x minus 1.86 um, x square, x square. So this is the function we are doing. Um, then if you go the second and mode that takes you to the home screen where you compute all this uh, ratios. So we are going to compute, um, so click on VARS, the third row that is, then go to the right arrow and use YVARS and then function 1, then Y1, you pick 1, that's where we are storing the function Y1 at, so we are now going to do um, this part that is 1.5 uh, at 1.5 and then y1 at 1 over the difference of the interval. So it is 1.5 then minus um, then y1 we have to call y1 that is vars yvars 1 then click on 1 y1 at 1 divided by so click enter divided by we are going to divide that answer by uh, the difference of 1.5 and 1, which is 0.5, we all know. Um, so, which will be 0.5. Click enter. So, that will be 59.35. So, this is going to be 59.35 meters per second. We do the same uh, thing uh, for one, 1 through 1.1. So, uh, to get the practice, so we'll click VAR, then YVAR, and 1, the function, and then again 1. So, Y1 at 1.1 minus Y1, so VARS, YVARS function, 1, uh, so Y1 you're calling, at 1 minus, uh, so divided by, so this divided by um, the difference of 1.1 and 1, which is 0.1.
that is 60.094. So in the problem, it's telling us to so it is 60.094 and next we have to do the average speed over 1 and 1.01 so we can repeat the same process VAR then use the right arrow YVAR then click on the function then Y1 if Y1 evaluated at 1.01 .01 minus Y1 So y1 at 1 hit enter and then divided by the difference between 1.01 .01 and 1 the time difference that will be 0 0.01 that will be 60.06 60.2614 Then 1.001, .001, the last one, average speed over 1, one through 1.001. .001. So I click on VAR, YVAR, 1, again 1, that will give us Y1. Evaluate at 1.001, minus Y1, so VAR, then YVAR, then again 1, 1, mm, so you have to evaluate at 1, get the answer and divide that by the difference between the times, this difference between 1.001 .001 and 1 is 0 0.001, hit enter, that will be 60. 0.28 if you reduce it to two decimal places so even the second one if you reduce it to two decimal places it will be 60.09 so the last one is 60.28 um, now this is the quicker way of using the calculator for this problem and then average speed over the estimate the speed at t equal to 1 that is the second part of the problem so if you notice, we have actually uh, evaluated a 1 through 2, 1 through 1 1.5. Actually, we have reduced the time interval. We started off with a bigger interval 1 through 2 and then we slowly decreased to 1 to 1.5 and then 1 through 1.1, 1 through 1.01, 1, 1 to 1.001. Actually, we are decreasing uh, the length of the interval smaller and smaller. So we get um, the estimated speed at 1, at t equal to 1, will be actually where these values are tending to. So it started off with 58.4, then 59.35, 60.09, then it's slowly coming down to 60.28. The, the values are approaching or limit values of all the average velocities is 60.28 meters per second. It is a limit of the average velocities. Usually, um, we are given in this problem specific values for the interval. If the specific values of the interval are not given, then you have to do uh, one set of values, I mean one for the right set of values of the intervals, which is all values are right here. Then same way you have to do one set of values to the left of one then you take the limit of those. So it is 60.28 is the estimated speed uh, at the time t equal to 1, at a specific time t equal to 1. Hope this video helps and also helps you to understand the calculated features for this problem.